Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Recording Made Easy .com. and here on my YouTube channel. And this time out, we're gonna take a look at the second part of the new Mark Daniel Nelson plugin um, from Pulsar Modular. This is the P450 MDN. Um, last week we did, or two weeks ago, we did the sidecar video. This is the EQ that comes in this package. So you have the sidecar, which is the full blown thing. You can click the link in the description box below, check out the video. Here is just the EQ section of that plugin. Thought I'd do a quick little video on this and let's just listen to the EQ on its own. But before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because I have a free mixing course I want to give you. It's right on the homepage, big orange button. Can't miss it. It's my gift to you just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you something else for free. Here we go. Studio One, P450, MTN. Mark Daniel Nelson, great engineer, great guy. Does a lot of great YouTube videos. Go check them out. I'll leave some links in the description box below along with the sidecar video I did. Here's the API EQ, which is part of the sidecar plugin. Let's walk through it, listen to it on a few elements, and then get out of here. All right, top, we have a bias knob right here. Cool. Output, low cut and high cut filters, phase flip, turn it on and off. This is based on the API 5500 EQ. It's actually based on the EQ that's out of Mark Daniel Nelson's API sidecar hardware in his studio. So we have the usual suspects of the um, of the four band EQ on the high frequencies. We can make it a, a bell or a shelf on the um, and on the low frequencies. In the middle here, we also have a multiplier frequency or a dB multiplier. So if you have it on one and you turn things, you'll see we're going in increments of two dB stepped, right? Like API hardware. If we go to the middle here, we're at a 0.5. Now we're going in one dB increments, which is kind of cool, or even a 0.25, which is gonna go in half dB imp increments. So if you wanna get uh, get some fine tuning happening there, you can do that, and that's it. That's all we got to this plugin, pretty cool. Uh, along the bottom, we have the new and the old, where you could change the kind of vibe or look of the GUI, which is kind of cool. You can resize it just by doing this, which is kind of neat. And then up here, we have a little menu where you can resize your plugin, set it as the default size. You can go read all about the user manual and theme settings, all of that stuff. Okay, um, same song as we've been using the last few weeks. Let's start with our kick in. Let's listen to this, let's dial it in. Let's see what we got. I'll turn it up uh, and exaggerate it so you can hear it good. Here we go. Okay, we're at our default settings right now. And we have a bunch of presets too up here, by the way, that we can check out but let's just um, dial this in. Sounds like API. <laughs> uh, maybe a little, uh, where are we up here? A little 7K. Or maybe a little 8K. So the bias has a very, very, very subtle effect that you may or may not be able to hear here over the YouTube. Um, all the way clockwise, it seems to be a little bit more pillowy. Counterclockwise seems to be a little more pointy, but we're talking extremely subtle. This sounds just like my API 5500 hardware EQ, which is what this is based on. Exactly like that on kick drum. I use the hardware unit all the time. It sounds identical to that. Sounds great. That's our kick in. Kick out more of a sub kick. Let's do the pillowy thing. Oh, let's do a... Uh... Where's our 240? Here we go. Gives us kind of that really low, low. Let's blend it with the other kick. Let's 
So we go from that. Sounds great. Let's go to snare top. We're just gonna do kick snare, overheads, maybe some bass acoustic guitar. Again, you can go demo this plugin. Link will be in the description box. This is not an affiliate video. They didn't give me this. I'm, I'm running this in demo mode. You can run it for 15 days in demo mode. I encourage you to do that. Snare top of the top. Let's try a preset. Let's try a preset. <laughs> Here we go. Snare top. Snare smack. Well, there you go. What I love about API EQs, same with the hardware, is you could really boost the top end over about 5K and it never gets harsh. It just keeps sounding better. Like if you can boost it 12 dB, I wish you could boost it 18 dB, right? Because it would just sound even better, but that's what's really cool about it. Snare bottom. Do another preset. Snare bright. Nice. Let's get a little bit of a balance here. Let's go right to overheads. Kick snare overheads. Pick a preset. Let's just see what they got. They even have a drum bus. They don't have any overhead presets. Let's 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 go on default. We don't need no stinking preset. We can do it ourselves, right? Nice. Let's take out that five hundred. Okay, so there's kick snare overheads. Let me take all these away. So here's what we here's what we have. I'll just power them on, power them off. Here's with it on. It's got that API thing for sure. Okay, we have one on the drum bus here. Let's just put on the drum bus. Let's pick a preset. Let's hit play first. Dial that back a little. Cool, acoustic guitar, here we go. Sounds great. Bass guitar. So you can see, you can dial this in very quickly. Very nice API EQ. Let's see what they have for bass. Interesting. Bass round beef, 
No boost, no cuts, just high and low cut filters. How about that? Well, we're gonna help with that. Give me a little. Nice. Last thing, piano, and then we'll get out of this video, but so far it sounds really good. Again, go demo this. Links in the description box below. Let's listen to some piano here. Let's do a... Sounds good, man. Sounds really good. Again, this is part of the sidecar. I'm not sure why they gave this to you in an extra plugin. Oh, probably because you could put it on a whole bunch of tracks. You know, you don't have to worry about CPU hog and usage. You don't want to put that that sidecar, I think, on every single track. That could be a problem. But this is a really nice EQ. Sounds really good. Sounds it has the same sound characteristics of my API 5500 hardware. That's what this is really kind of based on, and it sounds just like that. Trust me, it does. So again, when you get the sidecar, you get this along with it. But here's a look at it. So you can use this on multiple tracks, use the sidecar, maybe your two bus or your buses, um, and you can just mess around with it. I think this is really cool. This is a nice plugin and um, it's a little different than everything else that's, that's out there. Uh, maybe not the EQ in particular, but the sidecar for sure. So thank you for taking a look and a listen at the P450 MDN by Pulsar module. Again, click the link in the description box and check it out. So now, as I said earlier, I wanna thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the videos. As I said earlier, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com if you have not done so already and get that free mixing course, just click on that button. It'll email it right to your email box. If you take that course and you dig Uncle Dave's style of teaching and you want to take one of my other full feature training courses on my website, I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube25. Put that in at checkout. It'll take 25% off any other training course on the website. Thank you so much for visiting and checking it out and checking out this plugin with me today. And until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video.